So how about them Yankees? <laughs> <laughs> Ugh, fuck ESPN and their constant coverage of everything Yankee related. Like their fucking hour long special about George Steinbrenner. Because he's so fucking great. And even though he was the biggest douche to a lot of pretty much everyone around him in the organization, he's the greatest stoner ever. Well, just imagine that uh, this turret is ESPN and all your, all your happy <laughs> feelings. That, no, turn. It's, not, it's not even ESPN anymore, it's Yes Network National. That's what I'm calling them now. <laughs> All right. All right, I'm going to be ironic here. No, I'm not. Uh, I thought I was going to drop a turret on another turret. Damn. Which would be not, like... That's, that's, not, that's not ironic. That's just distasteful. <laughs> you want to get rid of a gun? Throw another gun at it. <laughs> no, wait. What am I doing now? I don't know. I, oh. <laughs> okay. That was boring. Kind of. That wasn't, that wasn't boring. That was just stupid. Okay, that was about to, that would that would kind of be like dropping ESPN on ESPN, wouldn't it? You mean Yes Network National? I'm Yes Network National. Okay, the elevator is over there. Just the pick it up right there. <laughs> what I'm going to do is take this and no, put bring, it down. Bring it, bring it in the here. thing with you. It'll vaporize. I'm just going to leave it facing the wall you for the rest of you of it. No, I'm going to leave it facing the wall. It's going to be in an eternal timeout. A day in the life of a, a, day in the life of a turret, bitches. Staring at a stone wall. Okay. Finally moving on to the... Finally moving on. Could it be? It is. The companion cube. Yay. Cube. We love you, Cube. <laughs> I shall call him Biffalo the Third. <laughs> what the fuck is with this Biffalo? <laughs> uh, that's the point. Who was Biffalo the first if you fell off? <laughs> Biffalo yeah, the first. Who was Biffalo the first? A baby Metroid. And who's and Biffalo second? The, um, who was Biffalo the second? No, the Metroid I know was the, Biffalo the second. No, no, no Metroid no. was Biffalo the first. Biffalo the second was, um, I forget, but I know there was one. I'm, I'm sure there was a second Biffalo. <laughs> I swear to God, there was one. Wow. Ah. This part terrifies me, especially when the damn energy ball starts bouncing around. Well, of course he won't uh -oh. threaten me. He's my friend. <laughs> he has a heart on him, so he must be a good guy. But what if you turn it upside down and suddenly a spade? <laughs> well, spade is my favorite suit color, so... It's not a spade. It I lacks win the stem. Way. It's not a spade. It lacks a stem. So what is it when it's upside down? Um, it's a love disc? Oh, a I see it. An ass. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> Which is pretty much what the Valentine's Day heart is, actually, because it's shaped <laughs> nothing like a heart. <laughs> Fuck Valentine's Day. <laughs> <laughs> well, then you'll enjoy incinerating the companion cube, Indeed. won't you? <laughs> you heartless <laughs> bastard. You monster. <laughs> You just stay right there, Biffalo the Third. I have work to do. Yes. I'm hoping they to ask God. Where, okay. They ask where Biffalo came from. It sounds like you just took Biff from Back to the Future and merged it with Piccolo. <laughs> uh, actually, Piccolo the fusion dance? <laughs> actually, I mixed Biff from Back to the Future with Buffalo. But, uh, yeah. What? <laughs> So Biff and a buffalo <laughs> did the fusion dance? <laughs> That's just weird. <laughs> no, no, no. Biff from Back to the Future and a bottle of buffalo sauce. So Biff and a bottle of buffalo sauce do the fusion dance? <laughs> yes, it's the ultimate that combination, that? don't you know? They do the fusion dance and the world implodes. I'd rather not have anything that has Biff's face on it. <laughs> no, the thing that would destroy the universe is Captain Falcon and Chuck Norris at the fusion dance. <laughs> And What's it's another this? one of the rats' dens, but you can't actually crawl in. You have to you make can a with modding. <laughs> with what? You can with modding. 
But modding is overly convoluted when you can just use portals, yes. So Modding is hacking, and hacking is cheating. So if you sure did that, you is. suck. <laughs> Never mind that Valve games tend to sell themselves on their ability to be modded. Whoa! Ow! The hell? No! <laughs> no. Buffalo, you betrayed Wait. me! You can see the insides of Buffalo. <laughs> There's not a lot going and on, it's honestly. it's surprisingly boring. <laughs> He's hollow. <laughs> Who knew? <laughs> Come on, Biffalo, let's try that again. Yeah. Alright, and this is me ducking so that if I do screw up again, the energy ball will theoretically fight, will theoretically miss my head. <laughs> and fly, oh. And I, I said theoretically. <laughs> But he's oh, my friend, he would fun. never steer me wrong. <laughs> Indeed. Okay, what? where am I supposed to put the cube again? Oh yeah, up on here. The Buffalo stands guard. Watch the door for me. Aye, aye. Aye, aye, Oh, crap. Um... What am I supposed to do? Oh yeah, I'm wait for it to fire steer. and then step on the button as it passes you. Yeah, is it coming? Um, I don't know. Let's look don't. over and see. Zap. <laughs> <laughs> I am terrified of that happening. Yes, but as it turns out, when I died, my uh, portal got reset, and I have to reset it back to the other side again. Indeed. This kind of shit Wait, is the reason. Oh. This kind of shit is the reason going through blue portals only is really fucking annoying in this game. I would have saved myself some time and just gone through the blue portal. You could have just. But uh, it. but uh, that would have gotten me hit by that thing. Sure, it would have. So, Yes, it, no, not editing. Going through the blue portal. Here it comes. Step on the step button, on step, the on button, button. step on the button, step on the button, yay! Preferably before it bounces off the door and ricochets in your face. You forgot Piffalo. <laughs> <laughs> that did happen the first time I did that. I, I, I hesitated. I I, I stepped on the button just a little too late, and uh, I wound up. Um, I I don't know why I'm bothering, but um, I'm going into the rat's den. Yay! Uh, okay. Something on there. Something about the companion cube. Stop watching. Stop watching. <laughs> no, apparently he has a Kodak disposable. He has a Polaroid with him. He loves that companion cube. Who doesn't love uh, the companion cube? I, not in cruelty, not in wrath. The Reaper came today, an angel something something, and came and took the, cu took whoa, the cube whoa, away. That's the right. It's a dead uh, android. Apparently, the rat man is really into emo poetry. I wonder if he's a Twilight fan. Hmm. Something to think about. <laughs> Something to think about, at least. We. We. Fuck. Again. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> at least the cube made it. Go Buffalo. on without me. <laughs> Go on without me, Buffalo. Aye, aye, sir. Why does it have a pirate accent? I don't know. <laughs> Yar. It, it totally clashes with a heart tattoo, but whatever. Yar, that be why and be having it. <laughs> you did it. The weighted companion cube certainly brought you. Indeed. Back. However, it cannot accompany you for the rest of what? the test, and unfortunately, must be utilized. Cubey? Please escort your companion cube to the Aperture Science Emergency Intelligence Incinerator. Sigh. Oh, that's right. You need, you need to float Don't look stand at me. on the button for you. <laughs> It'll all be over me. soon. Don't look at me like that. <laughs> Open the door so that I can push the button. 
Rest assured that an independent panel of ethicists has absolved the Enrichment Center, Aperture Take Science it up and let's go. and all test subjects of any moral responsibility for the companion cube euthanizing process. And you took too, and you took too <laughs> long. <laughs> you probably should let the cube a little closer. <laughs> Not only am I supposed to, you know, incinerate my best friend, but I have to do it quickly. I, like I can't, I can't even hover on in on, on the brink with indecision. Yar, what you be doing, <laughs> Buffalo? Yar, bitch. The third. You had of course, it doesn't. The third in your big nose screen. It doesn't matter because you know. You euthanized your faithful companion cube more quickly than any test subject on record. Um, you thanks. Yeah, I'm having Mass Effect 1 flashbacks with his constant elevators. The experiment is nearing its Or is it? The Enrichment Center is required to remind you that you will be baked. That you will be baked, and then there will be cake. Oh, ho, ho, ho. I see what you did there, GLaDOS. Well, at first I thought she was going to make me garbled cake. <laughs> wow! Ow! You messed it up. Ow. What? Oh, look, another area. It doesn't seem to be a rat man's den. It just has a random radio over here for no good reason. I honestly don't know what this room is for. Uh, weren't the radios weren't the weren't uh weren't there updates to the game that actually gave the radio broadcast was supposed to be like a a hint for the sequel? Uh I'm not sure. Um there was an update to the game that changed the ending so that you heard GLaDOS saying thank you for assuming the party the uh the party submission uh position or something. Uh, <laughs> and for no good reason I decided to just drop the radio in the ass. Yeah. You sure showed that radio. Fuck you, still alive. I'm tired of listening to you. In your mariachi form. I'll never get tired of the vocal version. No one can but get the... tired of the vocal version, but the mariachi version, that's got to go. Of course, I need to, I need to, I need to jump into a portal to make it here. And go. We. We. Ow. We. My ankles... Ow. You have shock guards for your ankles. You'll be fine. Walk it off, you pussy. No, oh, wait, no, you seriously. can't. Ah. <laughs> uh, 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 <laughs> yeah. We. <Wee. laughs> I'm sorry, I missed okay. it. <laughs> yeah. Uh, a little behind there, Johnny. I'm distracted. <laughs> Are you now? By what? We this possum that's inside my room. A possum? What? There's a possum in my room. What? It's staring what? directly into my soul. There's a possum in what? Don't fucking what ask me how it got in here. Why is there one what? in your room? I don't know, what? but as soon as this part's over, I'm gonna go punt it. But what the f Okay. That's gotta be one of the most random things ever recorded. <laughs> I can't talk right now. There's a possum in my room. <laughs> How does a possum get in someone's bedroom? It's a possum. As opposed to an opossum, which is, um... Not any different. Well, wait. No, wait. Isn't a possum a flower? <laughs> no, a possum is an animal that plays dead as no, opposed... No, no, no. There's a difference between a possum and an opossum. Yes, but they're both animals. Well, yes. <laughs> that the rock me a wiki. <laughs> After you punt the possum. That's cruelty to animals. I'm not gonna do I anything think. to it. <laughs> you said you were gonna punt it. That's I'm kidding. <laughs> it's a figure of speech, damn it. You missed yeah, with the if I punted, portal. I mean I'm going to you missed Take it with out the of orange my portal. You missed with both portals. Now you're only missing with the orange portal. No, I'm not. See, you missed. What? Oh, oh yeah, I remember God. this room. You missed. <laughs> God it's still damn it. There. Ha, I was right. 
Shut up. You never listen to me, but I'm right most <laughs> of the time, so yeah.